Welcome to the Weekly Digest. The Mouth of Sal. We're your anchors. Romano. And Josiah. Oh, bet you saw that one coming. I wonder if fireworks are edible. And now, the Weekly. Hoagies and grinders, navy beans, navy beans, meatloaf sandwich. Slobby go, slap, slobby go. Slobby go, slap, slobby go. Come on. Slobby go, slap, slobby go. You duck. Slobby go. Meat. A. B. C. D, E, L, H, Noobs. I am Tira. Um, I actually live in Missouri, Joplin, Missouri. So, I came from digital, digital way. I am a digital artist, I also animate. They're not really professional, it isn't really a professional animating software. It's just flip a clip and stuff like that. Um, the people here are really nice and it's a lot less stressful than I thought it was gonna be. This is Roman's creature. And this is Josiah's creature. Ow! <laughs> Welcome back to Creature Feature. This week's theme is the Lunar New Year. Be sure to submit to Creature Feature. We'd love to see your pictures and videos. This is Giovanni, and he was the winner of last week. I wonder if any teachers are going to be celebrating the Chinese New Year. I want to dedicate this song to you Because you care for me With you I feel safe and secure What is the best or worst pra practical joke that you've played on on someone or that was played on you? So there was a teacher that used to teach here that we kind of had a rivalry and uh, at one point she pranked my room by putting like uh, a bunch of cups of water all over the desks in the morning right before school started uh, that I had to somehow dispose of and didn't have a sink and also took a bunch of pictures of me and replaced them with herself around my room so to get her back I uh, I created this this video where I used clever propaganda to make people say things 
um, terrible about her on camera that she didn't realize and, and totally spun the words and took them out of context and made, and made her embarrassed as a result. What was cool when you were young but isn't cool now? My mom. I, okay, no, not, not really. My mom's still pretty cool. Uh, sweater vests. If animals could talk, which animal animal would be the most annoying and why? Uh, I'm gonna go with panda bears because they uh, just look like just look like they would probably talk really whine whinily, if that's a word. Like they would whine when they talked, or maybe whimper, <laughs> like a weak animal. What outdoor activity haven't you haven't tried but would like to do? That's a tough one. I mean, there's all kinds of things that I haven't tried that I'd like to try. Um, fire walking, bloodletting. Uh, I'm kind of back and forth on skydiving, but that I might do that at some point. Did you know? The Chinese New Year is the day where the single most fireworks are lit across the world. That's fact. Hello and welcome to Random History Fact. Did you know that the Great Wall of China was built to keep nomadic tribes from Mongolia and Manchuria from invading China? These tribes include the Xuangnu, the Turks, and... Shut up! That is incorrect! The correct way that the wall was built was to keep out big monkey like King Kong. And besides, okay, King uh, Kong is going to lose fight. Okay, uh, it, was, it was not for big monkeys. The third tribe I was going to list was... The Mongols. This has been Random History Facts. Thirty-five ways to open a red envelope. Number one. Welcome back to the 35 Essentials. This week we will be talking about essential number 25. During assembly, do not speak and do not look around and try and get the attention of your friends in other classes. Did you know that only one-sixth of the world's population celebrates Lunar New Year? Super Dumpling. Wait. Well, I have Luke in eighth hour, and the last hour of the day is always a tough time to stay focused and get organized because we're all ready to be done with the day and uh, Luke just does a really nice job of participating and always comes in with a nice positive attitude and he loves to participate in class and um, super friendly to everybody. Well it's really because I'm like really good in math always. That's a really good reason why. try like wanting to be their partner for assignments. So, like basically I will help them if they have a problem with a question in class. By participating in class Would the paper dragons be considered art?
will drown. Pal Prince. Hold up. Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, just wanted to touch base with you and let you know, you know, we're back from uh, the, the snow days that we had off and, and we're trying to get all of the work caught up that, that we missed. It's real important that you get on that uh, during your advisory time if you still got some, even if it's, if it's you know, really difficult for you, please uh, get in and try work with your teachers and, and get that stuff taken care of during the advisory time if you were unable to during the uh, during the COVID, or I'm sorry, not during the COVID time, during the uh, during the snow days. Um, <clears throat> so uh, really important, get on that, get it taken care of. We've got about another week to get that done, and then we're going to have to cut it off, and all those zeros are going to be stuck. So I've I've had some conversations with parents where they're like, "Hey, my kiddo's grades dropped." Yep, yeah, because there are zeros in your grade book. So uh, you you've got the power to get that taken care of for about another week. All right. So everybody, I hope you're doing well. Uh, we got warm weather around the corner. It's been nice outside. So let's let's get out and enjoy that. And, and uh, um, everybody take care. Talk to you later. Thanks. Bye. I'm not thinking of nothing. I, I'm just thinking of too much to concentrate on any of it. Maybe I can find a red envelope in Miss Foxwell's desk. Welcome to What's in Mrs. Foxwell's Desk. Well, everyone who's been in Mrs. Foxwell's desk knows that in the bottom drawer on the left-hand side, we have something very, very sweet. Things that kids need during the day to keep them going. Whenever my kids are slumped over their desk and they're like doing their homework like this, I just reach into the bottom drawer of my desk and bring out lots of candy! Remember the other day in What's in Mrs. Foxwell's desk when I was showing you how I keep my old students in my desk until they decay and crumble into bones? Well, Presently, I have quite a few naughty kids that are fermenting inside my desk. And all I have to do is say, rise up! And here they are! So this is what the world looks like. This. Oh, this is Welcome sick. back to reality and what's in Mrs. Foxwell's desk? It's been 30 years. Wave goodbye! No! no. I love freedom! Sports. Um, I want to start off with why track? Well, there's a lot of reasons why track. First, guys, it's fun. It's a good time. It's a, a, a competitive sport, but it's not that high intensity somebody yelling at you constantly type like a basketball or football. We can go out, we can work hard, and we're, it, it's just a different feel and it's a lot of fun. Okay, two, name me something better to get you ready for other sports that works um, on building your strength as an athlete. Okay, next, it's a great injury prevention tool. Okay, um, especially those of you who are in club sports year round, 
we work the same muscle the same way all the time, it's going to break. Track is a good way to build that muscle in a different way with different repetitive motions that will give that muscle some strength training and at the same time give it a break to where it doesn't have the same repetitive motion that might eventually uh, cause an issue. When do we start? Okay, we start March 1st. Okay, where are we at? On March 1st, we're in the gym. At 345, you're in the gym, dressed out, ready to go. The big thing for March 1st, you have to show up with paperwork either already on file upstairs from Miss Allison or bring it with you to practice. What is the paperwork you need? Okay, you have to have a physical on file with the schools that is at least, at least or under two years old. Okay, must have a current health history file that is less than a year old. Next, you have to have proof of insurance. Parents have to have insurance for you in case anything happens. Kaboo. Red is a neat color. Do you want to know why? Because it's red. It's a good color. Hello South Middle School. This week's theme is the Chinese New Year, which we know is a Lunar New Year. I was born in the year of the dog, 1970. I think that says something about me, but I'm not really sure. Think about it. Hello again, everyone. This week's words of wisdom are, ask yourself if what you are accomplishing today will get you closer to where you want to be tomorrow. Thanks and have a great day. Dragon. Tails. <laughs>
goodness gracious. Back from that the two week long break. I, th I think it was even longer than that. Gosh darn. Anyways, uh, run the intro. Hello again, my wonderful audience. It is I, yours truly, Noah Newman, the host of the show called Meme Moment and Meme Tournament. Now, I know you're wondering, who the heck won today? Our first match was Kyrie B versus Justin C. The winner of that one was... Justin C. Congratulations, you get to move on to the next round. As for Kyrie B, you did well as well. So, good try at least. Now for our second match, it was Brianna H and Brianna H, the Funny JoJo round. The winner of that was... Brianna H, congratulations, you get to move on to the next round, lucky lucky duck. As for Brianna, Brianna H, you did well as well. But the question is, which one won? They were both Brianna H. I'll tell you which one. It was the right one. So congratulations, uh, Brianna H, but the right version. Now then, we are on to the next round. Round two. And I've got just a batch of competitors. You voted for these suckers, now you're voting for them again. So you better pick your favorite favorite. Or else. So, which one are you voting for? If you want to vote, then go to the email and check your email, and you'll see one posted by e-leaders showing you the digest and the tournament bracket. If you don't vote, I'm gonna destroy your cheeseburger. Any cheeseburger you're be eating, I'm gonna be there five seconds, all right? Oh, nice guy. That cheeseburger, right. Chuck E. Cheese, five o'clock. I'm beating it. I'm destroying it. Josiah, you have made a Dragon Tales joke in the Chinese New Year episode, so I have to ask you to leave and go to the corner. Fine, I didn't want to be here anyway. Good. Yeah, now I was gonna tell you about it. Listen. <sighs> like, how sometimes when you're watching something and you can put it like on hot, like to go faster, two times faster, I feel like that's what we've all been been uh, now stressed to do since we've missed so many days. So like, we're gonna have to speed through till the end of the year now because of snow <laughs> and weather. No, it was beautiful and we loved it. Mm -hmm. It makes us have to speed up now. So. Eighth graders, remember that stuff that I sent you kind of at the for first quarter? I said prepare yourself, get ready. Eighth graders Here. are getting this information about high school. And so a couple times I've already reminded them that whatever you do now definitely counts toward what you do in high school. And about high school enrollment, next Wednesday the 3rd, I believe we are taking a tour of the high school. It's not gonna last very long. It's like 10 to 11.15, so you'll be back in time for lunch. And then sixth and seventh graders, we are going to start um, doing our enrollment. So sixth graders thinking about what you wanna take for seventh grade classes. Seventh graders, what you wanna do in eighth grade for your classes, elective classes. So we will be talking about that a little bit in class or Maybe in this format, I'm not sure. There's also pack signups too. There's pack signups. Track is getting ready to start. Make sure you have your physicals and your insurance stuff turned in if you're doing track. Um, and 
As we get ready to talk about enrollment, you definitely need to let your family know about what your plans are. They need to know. So we will honor that tradition here at South Middle School of communicating with our families about what classes we want to take for the 2021-2022 school year. Bye. Josiah, stop reading. Why though? Because it is time for you leaders. So these two books, um, Boxers, Boxers and Saints, um, these two books are about the Boxing Revolution in China that happened through 1899 to 1901. The genre of these two books would be historical fiction and a little bit of fantasy as some there's some fantasy themes in these books. It doesn't really matter which uh, order they're um, like read in, but these two books do tie in together. The author is Jing Ling Wang, probably butchered that. Um, and these are two are about two characters in very different perspectives of the Boxing Revolution. Hey, Roman. Yes. What year is it? Duh, no. 1999. Ding, ding, ding. What is 2008's Chinese zodiac sign? It's the rat. Oh. What's this year's Chinese zodiac sign? Uh, I honestly don't know. I didn't even know it was a thing, to be honest. What's 2007's Chinese zodiac sign? 2007's uh, uh, Chinese zodiac sign is the pig. Do you guys know what? Two, yeah. Do you know what year you were born in? Chinese zodiac sign. Oh. Best Chinese zodiac sign of all, the strongest, the only mythical, and the one that the Chinese love and desire the most, the dragon. And the year I was born was 88, so I'm a red dragon, so like statistically I'm like the best dragon. Dragon tails, dragon tails, it's almost time, time for dragon tails. Dragon tails, dragon tails. Dragon tails, yeah. Oh, it's Chinese New Year. That's the theme. I played Chinese New Year songs because that was cool for the theme. Bada bing, bada bop, bada bop, boom, pow. Here's your winner. Ooh, yeah, big winner. Okay. You can email me with your guesses at eleaders at joblinschools.org. Yeah, wow. Boom. Hey, Roman, did you know what, do you know what color the sky is? Green. It's black. Because it's it's nighttime. I like turtles. Yeah. Well, I like knowledge. Did you know that in the Chinese Huangdi system of counting years, 2021 is either year 4718 or 4719? Selfie. It is a phone case, you guessed it, but you don't know which direction I'm going to throw it. Pain.
Freddy attend a New Year parade? Maybe. Hmm. He might be too busy in Antarctica. Well, we don't have anything going on next week, um, so have a wonderful rest to have a wonderful weekend, and don't fall in the toilet. Hey, that's my thing. Darn, looks like I stole Hi, it. Hi, I'm Josiah. I have blonde hair and a retainer and $40. Goodbye. It's my thing. Don't fall in the toilet, kids. Don't do it. Don't fall in the toilet. Fall in the toilet. Don't do it. Please no. Hello and welcome to Random History Facts. Did you know that the Great Wall of China was built to keep nomadic tribes from Mongolia and Manchuria from invading China? These tribes include the Ishuangnu, the Turks, and wrong, wrong. They built it because they wanted to keep out big monkey like Kong. A King Kong. And also, I think Godzilla's gonna win this fight. Okay, so uh, it, it wasn't for big monkeys, but one of the other groups was... That has been Random History Facts. No. Go. Alright, what am I... Random question am I answering? Um... 